Do you dream of scoring from anywhere, anytime? Well, today's your lucky day. We're breaking down the ultimate strategies to help you score more jumpers from anywhere on the court. Whether you're stuck on your non-dominant side or you're in the perfect spot to shoot your jump shot, we've got you covered. Let's master the art of strategic scoring. Why do you want to become a strategic scorer? Here is the number one reason. You want to keep your defenders guessing. See, tendencies in basketball are habits that really good players, the older you get, pick up on. And I want you to understand something. As a left-handed player, I loved to go right because what people will do defensively is they will drop their coverage trying to bait me into getting to the basket so they can actually meet me to the basket. Well, guess what? Going to my right, my non-dominant side, I didn't have to really square to make a shot. So therefore, if I went right and you knew me well, you knew I was gonna take a jump shot. So instead of sagging off, you might wanna play me tighter. When I went left, it was a little tougher to square, so I turned the corner and went for either a layup or a dunk. I didn't realize that until I got older and defenders started telling me what I love to do when I go right and left. Now, here's a clip from a former national champion in college named Jamal Mashborn. Nickname was Monster Mash. I want you to hear this clip at how he learned how to become a strategic scorer from a single tip playing one-on-one -on -one with Michael Jordan in the All-Star game. I had a chance to spend time with Michael Jordan and we played one-on-one. -on -one. You know how you, uh, before the layup line and different things like that. And I always knew Michael Jordan was great, but when I chatted with him and he was able to break down my game analytically, Jamal, you like to go left 80% of the time, pull up over with the right hand and different things like that. But then he gave me a solution. Go right two or three times in the game. And then gave me a, a story. He said, Dr. J and Larry Bird passed up and down to me to play the game within the game. I said, well, what are, you, what are you referencing? He was like, well, in the game sometimes, I'm not just going to score. It's how I want to score. So Jamal, if you go right two or three times in the game and you make a pull-up jump shot or right-hand layup or whatever it is, you're balancing out your game. You're keeping the defense off balance. Now we see why Michael Jordan was Michael Jordan. It wasn't that, again, he was a dominant scorer. The game got passed down from Dr. J, then Larry Bird, to Michael Jordan. Play the game within the game. Imagine Michael Jordan telling me this. Hey, Charlie, we know you love to go right to shoot the jump shot. Okay, we know that. Charlie, learn how to go left and shoot the jump shot. Well, I say, Mike, how you do that? Simple solution, learn how to score up. Oh, so I turn my body to the basket and square. And that will fool my opponents. Because normally, when Charlie goes to the basket going left, his square is this downhill drive. He's never learned how to stop to pop that shot. Oh, and if you do that two or three times a game, they don't know how to guard it. And when they play you tight, it's easy to drive. When they play you loose, all you gotta do now is catch and shoot. And now you've opened up your game to shoot jump shots anywhere on the court. And that is the key, it's not really a secret. Think about all of your great players you love to watch play, especially in today's game. Let's take one for example. If Kevin Durant, LeBron James drive to the left, they're going with a one drill pull-up jump shot. Here is why, the arm angle is closer to the basket. So therefore, when you go left as a right-hander, you don't have to square to shoot that shot. You don't have to square up, like I showed you. I almost suspect you at home, if you're right-handed, that's probably what you do. You love to take one drill pull-up jump shots going left. One, because you may not be as confident going left, not saying pros aren't, but you know, it's kind of what it is. It's not my strong side, so I'll go into my jump shot, right? What if you can actually go into not only that jump shot, but now you learn how to go left and take step backs, spine of your feet. And what if you can do the same thing on right? You go right, you know how to square first, lift up, knock down, go right, which people won't expect. Now you know how to go into a Go hard right, fake drive, step back shot. And I remember Andre Iguodala talking about when Steph Curry took that next step in his basketball game, that next level of scoring and shooting, he started going right. 
He started going towards Dominic's side and making those same step back moves he would do going left. Steph has learned how to strategically score the basketball. He's really good, fundamentally elite, but when he plays, he plays on both sides of the court. And when you play on both sides of the court, a defender can't keep you in one spot. And that is the key. Let's go. Hey, we're trying to reach 15,000 subscribers and we really need your help. We roll out high quality videos every week that we become a premium best ball player. So help us reach our goal and click that subscribe button. Let's go. How to square up. A square drill. Now we're gonna do it all over the court. You're gonna start in the corner, toss the ball up to the wing area. You're gonna learn to take your chest, which is your GPS, take your box to the basket, B to B. And we're gonna learn how to square up all the way on the court. Corner to wing, catch, square. Lead with your chest and let your feet follow. The left foot's gonna be the swing foot. That's the foot I can actually lift to take off with, right? We're gonna do that at five spots, right? Boom, see I'm learning how to square up. Three, here's four, and I'm coming back up. Now watch my right foot, bang. Now lead with your chest, and all I've done was I've changed my lead foot. Now my left foot's my pivot foot, my right foot's my lead foot that creates the action. That is the key, that's those five spots, I'm gonna keep moving along. Toss it to the top of the key, square. Toss it to the wing, square. You must learn to have unstoppable footwork. That is the key to this stuff. See, this is what you wanna also be ambidextrous with. Right, notice that my left foot stays back. So even if I'm able to take a shot as a right-handed player, I'm ready to shoot the basketball. I don't feel awkward using my left foot as my lead foot. Okay, so square drill. Do that around the perimeter. Now, I take that same square drill. And let's do this as if we are right-handed. If your tendency is to go to your non-dominant side to pull up four jump shots and have that arm angle there, now let's work on squaring up. Top of the key, drop your hips. Where do you want to go with the direct step? Same side foot that the ball is on or cross step. And be encouraged with is going right for a pull up jump shot. Okay? Something that you typically might do. You might practice it, but may not be used to it because now you understand how to square. And all I'm simply doing is actually when I step, I'm making sure that my inside foot hits down first. I lead with my chest, which is my GPS, to the basket, load my legs, explode up. Release it, shoot it. Again, what you might do going left, no problem, because again, the arm angle to the basket, I even go, I'll go with a cross step being the right foot to lead foot. See, with a cross step, again, your arm is close to the basket. Whether I make or miss it is irrelevant. Notice my arm angle. I don't have to square up, okay? So we're gonna all just work going right. Now, now I'm going to a cross step. The cross step, instead of leading with my right leg, I lead with my left. And now when I step into it, I square up and lift up to make the shot. I want you going 10 times direct step, 10 times cross step to your dominant side to score the basketball, okay? Cross step, pull up, stop, knock down shot. I'll go one more. Cross step, pull up, dominant side. And now watch how we progress our skill after this shot. Okay, now. Cross step will lead me into a side step. Pretend the defender now understands my tendencies of going right. They're gonna play me tighter. So now when I come into this, I step and I dribble, I'll take one more in and I'll hit him with a side step, like a defensive slide. Left foot takes me right, left foot goes back, I lift up to shoot the basketball. However I start this, whether I go direct or cross, if I go direct into it, as soon as my inside foot hit, I'll find my balance, I'll lift up to shoot. That becomes a game changer shot for you. Now you know how to break it down and do it because you've done the square drill. Direct step, square the chest, lift up, shoot the basketball. I'll go cross step. I'll go cross step now. Cross step will get me right into it. Cross step, side step, shot. Okay? I want you making 10 of those, right? Now, last one. 
Imagine the defender now makes you put the ball on the deck. You gotta dance a little bit. No difference. Now when you dance, it's gonna be inside foot, outside foot shot. Same thing. Now when you go to the right and I say dance, when I say dance, you gotta now make drill moves into it. You understand how to square up. You get your defender up your spot, go into the shot, lift up, knock it down. You're going to your dominant side. And you're doing the same things you would do going this way, arm angle close to the basket. Now you know how to do it your dominant side way. Give me 10 of these right here. Come to it, side step lift, right? Now you can just make a move, go into it, lift up shot. For me, <laughs> I'm doing all that right-handed, but I'm left-handed. So that's me going this way. For that shot right there, keeping it simple, right? That's why unstoppable footwork is the key. Cross step, side step, shot. And then if I had to dance, put the ball on the floor to create a new line of threat against my defender, I can. And lift it up and knock down the shot. The key, again, your tendencies that you go to on your non-dominant side, learn how to do on your dominant side, and you become close to, I just say like, Michael Jordan himself. Now you know his secret. He was a strategic scorer. Let's go. Hey, future game changers. Ever dream of driving to the hoop and scoring with unstoppable precision? Now imagine being the player who finishes strong under any pressure at the rim. We've got the golden key that turns this imagination into a reality. Our high percentage finisher course is your ultimate playbook to mastering the art of finishing. Whether it's a smooth floater, a dynamic health side finish like a Euro or a pro hop, an explosive attack to the rack, we cover it all. This isn't just any course. It's a transformational journey tailored for every skill level with simple, impactful lessons that will elevate your finishing skills from the ground up, ensuring you become the go-to player who always scores with confidence and ease at the rim. Ready to leave those missed opportunities behind and start dominating every game with your finishing? Click the link in the comments below to dive into the course that will change your finishing game forever. Let's unlock your potential and make you the high percentage finisher every team dreams of having on their team. Let's go.